Hey, what's up guys, it's Tario. I'm back here to my channel. The past few days I've been busy editing this little gig I did. It's a wedding film. It turned out really good. I'm really happy with the result. And if you are interested in watching this, I'll leave a link in the description. Definitely go check it out. So in this video, we're gonna talk about some color grading tips and tricks, I would say. I had a few friends and subscribers ask me how I do my color grading workflow so this video is dedicated to you guys if you love it definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe the channel because i'm planning to do a bit more tips and tricks so definitely stay tuned without further ado i'm gonna just show you how i color grade them okay first i color grade my footage with color finale so if you don't have this definitely go check it out i'll leave a link in the description this plugging is totally worth the investment and it saved my life so many times and it's so easy to use second thing i want to mention before you color grade your footage is before you color grade a footage you want to make sure first your exposure level is right okay it's not like too much overexposed or underexposed because it's just a little bit pain in the butt to you know do a whole bunch of tweak to your image so a lot of these shots i did it myself so when i did it i want to make sure my my picture profile is a flat and second you want to make sure your white balance is good okay so the white balance is a headache I used to have a lot is that I bring back my footage and it's too uh, you know too blue or too too red and it just you have to take some extra time to to fix them so make sure before you film anything your white balance is good um, so exposure white balance and a color your picture profile is flat enough so when you Put on a lot or something your color won't look too saturated i used to oversaturate my color i look back now a few of videos i did back then but now i'm just very careful with um how i saturate my image okay so number one i would use color adjustment layer if you don't have it i will leave the link in the description you guys can go download it there's 4k one it's 1080p i don't even know the difference but i do have two of them and the installation is very simple and you go to your username to movies motion templates adjustment layers is under title so as long as you download the, the file in description and then just throw it in here or create a folder name it adjustment layer so i have a two of them okay so i normally use a 4k one because all these are 4k footage so as soon as you've done that you can drag and drop under your title and then just go to your adjustment layer and you can drag it above your footage okay above so that's what i use majority of times but there are also times that i don't use adjustment layers the reason you use adjustment layer is you have a lot of clips right some of these clips can be color graded all together so there's no point of dragging the plugins into this clip and copy paste the attributes on onto every single one of them i used to do that so there's no way to do that easier way to do it is just put on adjustment layer you put the color on this adjustment layer and you can simply drag okay drag the length and you determine let's say if i want to color grade it all these three clips together i can simply just drag it there you know what i mean so adjustment layer it does make your life easier if you have it great if you don't have it you can go find it in the description i will link in below if you guys have a newer version of final cut pro x and um there is a built-in color grading tool i'm sure, going to show you guys the workflow behind it because the each color grading it might be different okay let's find one part of this clip i feel like this is the part this is before this is after so you can see i have another one here it's his friends so this is before and this is after the way i treat these clips are pretty simple so the first one without touching the adjustment layer you can come to this clip and click on command six and seven 
so you can open up these two windows and we're not going to use this window so if you click control command one you can hide it for now so that's flat image profile so i want to make sure my exposure is right in this case there's still a bit of little room i can i can tweak on the shadow part so you can see the bottom of this luma wave by the way you can switch to different waves here i've used the um, rgb overlay i've used waveform again what i do these are just a workflow is that i want to make sure my luma the bottom you see there's these kind of peaks of these waves i want to make sure they just barely touch zero i want to make sure they barely touch zero okay not like cross over but just like very close barely touching the zero and then that's my shadow and highlights okay majority of times you want to bump it up until this top okay this peak of these waves they are touching or barely touching or very close to a hundred okay that's how i treat majority of my clip however in this case my my background is pretty white okay so again this picture the waves is translated here so these are actually these so my background is this a cloudy day i could technically bump it up but i'm just gonna overexpose it if i did so so i like to stick around in about 75 to 80 range and then i would I would color grade it on top of that again this is a preparation phase is that you just want to make sure the clip you're working on um, the exposure level is right and the next step i do is i throw on this adjustment layer i would double click or drag and drop um color finale onto my adjustment layer so we're just going to open up a uh, color finale so there's two things i normally do here is first one i would put on a lot okay if you don't know what lot is is lookup table um you know just treat it as a filter you know it's um the easiest way to understand it just like those instagram filters is pretty much the same thing and it has a specific look okay each each lot is different if you don't have any decent lots don't worry i will give you guys a couple of them for free it's uh, the link will be in the description. You guys can definitely go click and download it. I do have a full pack, which comes with a whole bunch of LUTs and uh, that's paid version. If you are interested in definitely go check it out too. If you do not know how to install the LUTs, it's super simple. If you're a Mac user, you just go to your user folder, click on movies and motion templates. Earlier, we put adjustment layer under title, but now, after you install the color finale which i do here i created a folder called it lots and then i just threw in all my my favorite lots into this folder so i have a whole bunch of them the way to apply these lots is um, you want to click on lot utility and then you can pick a specific folder okay create a folder and pick the specific folder once you open it you click on show here and it will show you how they look like okay um again if your image itself is already good pretty much all the lots you throw on uh they give that little bit of that um style okay this is kind of like style phase in this case what i did is i put on the first lot utility here the third knob over here and then what i did is i just applied a lot once you put it on you can see it started to change the color already changed already it looks pretty nice okay it looks pretty decent pretty nice however if you come to opacity here i normally i wouldn't go even close to 100 because that's just too much again you're going to go in the zone of oversaturation. i made a whole bunch of mistakes um oversaturate my image at the beginning and um it's kind of a painful lesson so what i do is i normally just go to zero and i would look at the image i will slowly bump it up i will slowly swipe it swipe it until there is l l really obvious and then i would back up a little bit so normally i would go about 
you know, 60, 70 percent range. It depending on the lot, you know, some lots are lighter and darker. So I would totally go around 60 to 70 range. That looks pretty good. And the second thing I did is I clicked on this first icon. I bring up color wheels. If your white balance is a little bit off or you want to give it a little bit cooler tone, you can actually, you know, drag these knobs into different color directions and it give you and it will give you a different look you know what i mean so that's pretty much what i wanted to cover to you guys okay so again if you don't have a color finale you can definitely go check them out we can check some reviews and a lot of people use this tool they are excellent um, they made my job really easy. If you have a newer version of Final Cut Pro X, there is a color grading tool built in. It's pretty cool. You can check it out too. But again, the, the philosophy, the workflow behind it, it's more important because you can literally grab any footage and you can color grade them. Okay. And uh, this is just my raw image without color grading. This is with color grading. Without width. Um, Anyways, you guys can definitely go check out this video and if you um, spot on anything you want to learn or you want to know how I did it, you can definitely leave a comment in below. I can make some future videos around it and uh, that's just pretty much how I color grade my footage. Again, thank you guys for being here and uh, to watch this video. If you picked up some nuggets really good for you and if you have any questions definitely commenting below give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for future content tario sign out have a great week everyone take care